Hello everyone, I'm Paul and today we're solving problem 3307, find the kth character in string game 2. This one is hard, but this is all about observation. So here I will show you how to solve this step by step. We know we have a word which is always a initially, and we are given a positive integer k and an integer array operations. So let's say k is 10 and this is the array operations. Now we are iterating these operations from left to right. So we start from here and if the operation is zero, we take the current word, which is initially A, and we add word to this. So here we would get the word A, A. Now we're here and we have a one in operations. This means we need to take the current word and add a word of the same length, but we are changing each character with the next character in the alphabet. So given that here we have an A, we start with B. And here we have a, another A, so we put another B. Now we are here, so we need to double this word. Now we are here, the last operation is a one, so we need to add here this but we are changing each character with the next character in the alphabet. So our job here is to return the kth character in words after performing these operations. In this case, k is 10, meaning we need to return this b. And this is important. Let's say we are here and we have a one and our word includes a character c. Well, in this case, we need to transform this into a. Okay, this is circular. Now, as you can imagine, we can do this simulation forever because k can be up to 10 to the power of 14, which is a very big number. And this requires a lot of operations and a really, really big final string. So we need to think about something more efficient. And the trick here is to see which is the pattern. Now, let's see what's happening here. At this point, meaning before starting, we have a string of length 1. We start with an A. Next, we have a 0. And here we have a string of length 2, meaning we have A, A. Next, we have a 1. And here we have a string of length 4. So here we have um, A, A, B, B. Next, we have a string of length 8. And finally, we have a string of length 16. So this behaves like a binary number. Remember, in binary numbers, the first position corresponds to 2 to the power of 0, and then we have 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, and so on. Now, if this grows like a binary number, we can think about this in the following way. We have one operation for every position in this binary number. And here the target is 10. Here we don't have any operation, so we can subtract one from here. And what this means is from here, we need to move nine steps, nine positions to the right. Now nine in binary is one, zero, zero, one. And here, remember, we are seeing this binary number in reverse because remember, position zero in binary is always to the right. So if we reverse this, we get the same. We get 1001. So we can place this number here, 1001, and this is our target. And now we can just iterate each of these positions and whenever we have a one, we execute the corresponding operation. So the approach will be the following. We will have a number, we'll call this result. This is initially zero. And this will give us the amount of times we need to transform the character A into the next character in the alphabet. And we'll update this result every time we see a 1 in target and a 1 in operations. So we start here and 
here we have a 1 in the target but we have a 0 in operation so we continue next we have a 0 in target so we continue next we have a 0 in target so we continue finally we have a 1 in target and 1 in operations so we add 1 to the result now we reach the end here so what this means is we need to transform the initial character A one time so we transform A into B and we return this so just to be clear the original string A grows like a binary number and we are taking K and we subtract 1 to get the amount of positions we need to move from the first position from position 0 actually and this is how we get our target in binary and then we are checking which bits are 1 in our target and also 1 in operations we add that amount of bits to the result and then we just update the initial character A that amount of times time complexity for this will be big O of log K and space complexity will be big O of 1 so now let's go with the code and hopefully you will get the idea first we subtract 1 from k so k minus equal 1 and now we need to get the amount of bits in k and we have two ways to do this one is to use the python function k dot bit underscore length and this works but i want to show you how to do this manually first we can copy k so we store this into a variable which we call num next bits equals zero and while num num divided equal two and we add one to bits and this will go on and on until num is zero now our result is zero and for i in range bits if k right shift i bitwise and 1 so we are taking the rightmost element from k in binary why are we taking the rightmost element and not the leftmost element because remember that positions in binary go from right to left position 0 is to the right so we are checking from right to left whenever we have a 1 we add to the result operations at i because remember that the order for operations go from left to right and finally we need to return result modded by 26 because we have only 26 characters in the alphabet um, and this we need to add this to old a and we need to transform this into a character so this is it for the code now let's submit this and see if it works as you can see this works and it's very efficient so if you found this useful please drop a like subscribe and see you in the next one bye bye